father, it's Kristen. I need your help, father. I don't know what you meant by Satan and Salem. I don't know what that means. How do the scrolls connect to it? What is the connection? Can you... What? the wallet? Yes. What? Father. This paper? This is John Black's phone number. How does this... Oh, darling. Oh, thanks, Charles. I can manage from Thank here. Thank you, Charles. Sure. Oh, darling, you're all right. You sounded so upset when you called. Father Francis collapsed. In the office of the church. Oh, no, Billy, Tommy went to visit him. Is he in emergency? No, he's been admitted to the hospital. The doctors think he may have had a stroke. Oh, darling. I'm so sorry. I know how much you love him. Oh, darling, you, you seem to be shaking. Doris is going to take good care of Father Francis. No, it's something more. He was trying to warn me about something. About what? You know, this sounds really weird, but he said... He said Satan is in Salem. I don't think you should take this too seriously. I mean, stroke victims say things... They don't always know what they're saying. Sometimes they mix words up. They say river instead of I know that, desert. but his assistant thinks he knew exactly what he was saying. I just can't make any sense of it. I don't know what he was trying to tell me. Well, can he talk at all? No. But I want some answers. But if Father Francis can't answer your questions... Well, I think I know who can. John. So I'm thinking that maybe Father was calling John when he collapsed, and that I should let John know about it, about the warning, because somehow it, it might affect him or something. I don't know. Well, Kristen, perhaps Father Francis was indicating something else in his wallet, maybe the dress of a nearest relative. No. There was nothing else in there. I looked. Well, I'm sure if he wanted a message to go to John, he has assistance to do that for him. I just feel like I want to do something for that man. I walked in there. He looked so desperate. He looked so... He was frightened. Christ. You're such a devout, moral person. That's what I've always loved about you. And you, more than anybody else, taught me about morality. You've always been such an honorable man. That's why I don't understand. What is it you don't understand? I don't understand this change in you. I overheard the conversation you were having with Peter about the oil company in Columbia that he wants to sell. Hmm. 